84 miles an hour, and its four-cylinder engine burns 400 times less fuel than a fighter jet. And a cockpit has a satellite control system. It's essentially the brains of the aircraft that gives us the ability to communicate, uh, control. The sensor ball also guides the Predator's two Hellfire missiles. When an IED explodes, shockwaves travel outward at 1,600 feet per second, over hundreds of yards, depending on the amount of explosive. Any fragments or shrapnel traveling at that rate of speed act as tiny bullets traveling in all directions. The pressure of the blast can be 1,000 times atmospheric pressure, rupturing eardrums and slamming the brain into the skull. Most IEDs are made from a few simple parts. A main charge. And for the container, a metal tube is used. When detonated, it can rip apart a nearby vehicle. The second IED is exactly the kind of trap Blake was looking for. Very close to the more obvious DFC, to blow up anyone who approaches it. These massive 20-ton machines are 27 feet long, 9 feet wide, and 13 feet tall. The 30-foot robotic arm and claw extends to unearth IEDs. It's equipped with compressed air to dig into sensitive areas as a camera guides the operator. The entire vehicle is protected by a classified ballistic armor system. Extra magazines, two layers of Kevlar and ceramic body armor, and their helmet. There are also a few small but crucial items they carry. Chem lights, probes, medical scissors, and gloves. But EOD also carries one special item for investigating IEDs other military personnel don't. The Mimit. Feet wide and 10 feet tall. It has a range of 460 miles on a 40 gallon tank with a top speed of 30 miles per hour. But the heart of this minesweeper is at the front end the ground-penetrating radar. Ground-penetrating radar transmits high-frequency radio waves into the ground. When the waves hit a buried object, it causes variations in the reflected return signal, which can be seen on its display. It weighs over 35,000 pounds, is over 11 feet tall and 9 feet wide, and its tires are almost 4 feet tall providing over 18 inches of ground clearance. The thick armor and V-shaped steel hull provide blast protection. A directional focus charge has the same basic parts as a regular IED. DFC uses a steel or aluminum cylinder to direct the blast and fragmentation in one direction. 